All right, meanwhile, the Aggies rolled into Boise last night with their 10-game winning streak and a shot to claim the Mountain West Mountain Division title and the right to host the conference championship game this week. Yeah, their dream season came down to this one game, and what we discovered is Boise State is still king of the mountain. So glad you could join us tonight for this outstanding matchup between two of the hottest teams in the country. Away we go from the blue turf here in Idaho. Love fakes the handoff, looking for Green. Green's got it at the goal line. Is he into the end zone? Yes, that is a Utah State touchdown. There's a pass and it's going to be picked off. The Boise State defense comes up huge. Madison, end zone. Boise State brings the blitz, throw the fade to the outside. Tarver gets the catch, and he gets the touchdown. Boise State wants the push off. They're not going to get it. Hold down. Kick is up. It's a line drive kick, and he bangs it through. Third down and goal. Ripon wants to throw it. Surveys. End zone. Touchdown. Here comes the blitz. They're throwing the screen. It's to Bright. Bright's got room. 35. He's off to the races. 50, 40, 35, 25, 20. We get down two scores there um, halfway through the fourth quarter, and we continue to battle and find a way to, you know, stay back in it. And five, touchdown, Utah State on the screen. Boise oh, State so sold out on the blitz, and the Aggies get him on the screen. Woo! No flags on the play, and that's a Utah State touchdown. And it's a two-point game. Madison dives across the goal line for the score. The Broncos have done it back to the Mountain West Conference championship game. Boise State defeats the Aggies tonight 33 to 24. How difficult was it in the locker room afterwards knowing that it's such a great season and you had it here and what was said and you know Rod that that uh, that's hard man. That's a hard I sure didn't have that speech prepared. I didn't think about it one minute. I was very confident coming into the game. Um, you know, there's a lot of hurt. Um, there's a lot of heartache. And I think that's very reflective of the investment that our kids had put in since January. I hurt for those players. I hurt for them. And the level of investment, again, I've said it you know, twice now, that they've put in for this program and how hard they've played and how well they've played. And they left everything out there. And the biggest thing was no regrets. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm, I'm honored and very, very humbled to be able to coach them. Um, that's a phenomenal bunch that, um, that's a hurting locker room right now.